Compressible Flow Tutorial Number 22 A blunt object travels at 1000 meter per second at an elevation of 10,000 meters. Temperature T1 is 223.23 Kelvin, P1 is 26.48 kPa absolute. The flow approaching the stagnation point passes through a normal shock wave and then decelerates isentropically to the stagnation point. Calculate P0 and T0 at the stagnation point. From this, equation, from this situation, you need to understand how to imagine the flow. First, the flow travel at 1000 meter per second here at point number 1. Then, this flow pass through a normal shock wave. So, a normal shock wave occur at this point. After the normal shock wave, the flow still continue its flow. Then, it decelerates. After the shock wave, it decelerates and it become a stagnation condition here. So, means that we have flow at condition number 1 and then shock wave occur and then the flow is still moving at point number 2 after that the flow will stop and have a stagnation condition like this what we want what i want to share with you is to calculate before and after shock wave before and after shock wave here we must use normal shock wave equation we cannot use isentropic flow equation. However, for all things that happen before the shock wave here and also the flow condition after the shock wave here means at point 2 and point 3, we could use isentropic flow equation. So means that just before and after shock wave, we need to use a special equation. We name it as normal shock wave equation. However, for the whole situation that occur before shock wave here, we could use isentropic flow equation. And also situation after the shock wave here, we also could use isentropic flow equation to get any value of pressure, temperature, and density first we could calculate the value of Mach 1 because we already know the value of uh, velocity before the shock wave and we know that uh, we are dealing with air so the K is 1.4 and R is 287 we could the temperature is also given in the question we could say that before the shock wave, the Mach number is 3.34. By using this equation, we could calculate the Mach number for situation number 2. M2 square is equal to 0 0.20957 and M2 is equal to 0 0.4578. To calculate the pressure after the shock wave, we use the normal shock wave equation. P2 over P1 from this equation can be calculated as 12.8482 means that the pressure after the shock wave can be calculated like this and it is equal to 340.2 kPa absolute. To calculate what is the stagnation pressure at point number 3, we need to use equation for isentropic flow. We compare what point number 3 and point number 2 now. So we uh, imagine that point number 3 is the pressure at stagnation point. So means that mark number 3 here is mark number at stagnation point. Mark number at stagnation point is equal to 0. We substitute the value because P2 here, we already calculated previously, it is 340.2 kPa. We substitute 340.2 kPa at here. 
we substitute Mark number at stagnation is equal to zero. Then we, we substitute the Mark number two from the value that we get previously. I mean, 0 0.4578. So we could calculate the P naught here. Pressure at stagnation point is equal to 392.8 kilopascal. To calculate the temperature after the shock wave, we need to use uh, shock wave equation because temperature at point number one here is the temperature before the shock wave and temperature two here is temperature after the shock wave. So this is the sh normal shock wave equation for temperature ratio. We substitute the value of K1.4 and M1 uh, from our previous calculation, we could get that T2 over T1 is equal to 3.101 and T2 can be calculated as mentioned here and it is equal to 692.3 Kelvin. Then to calculate the stagnation temperature, because we need to compare point 0.2 and point 0.3 because point 0.2 and point 0.3 didn't have any shock wave so we need to use the isentropic flow equation. We assume that point 0.2 is before the stagnation condition and point 0.3 is the stagnation condition. So we change T3 become T0 and we change M3 into M0 and at stagnation condition Mark number is equal to zero, then we could substitute the value mark number equal to zero at this term. We, then we could calculate all this uh, e uh, equation, we could solve it, we could get T naught, temperature at stagnation condition is 721.3 Kelvin.